Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. And I'd like to also thank our witnesses for being with us today. It is important to me that public companies, such as the ones that you all lead, continue to focus less on political agendas and more on what will benefit your investors, your customers, and your workers the most. That is maximizing profits and shareholder value. I just like to say that up front. Mr. Moynihan and Mr. Diamond, this is for you. The Biden administration has proposed an increase in the tax rate as high as 28% for American businesses and industry, along with many other tax increase measures, all to offset an additional anywhere from 1.7 to $2.3 trillion in government spending. How would an increased rate impact your ability to support our economic recovery? And what sort of burden would American workers and small businesses bear? I'll start with uh, Mr. Moynihan's response first. Uh, thank you for the question. Um, I think starting with your point about what our customers tell us, uh, our small and medium-sized businesses, of which we have many, you know, are worried about tax increases, uh, not uh, slowing down their ability to invest in their employees, invest in new equipment, be competitive, because many of those small businesses supply into the supply chain for the larger companies in this country. And so their concern is about that. When you go to the larger companies and increase in taxes is a couple things. One is it, it, their fear is that it'll lead them to have to put more capital available outside the United States because frankly, the final demand, the globalization economy provides opportunities that weren't here 30 years ago. And I think they're concerned about that. They're also concerned about the impact of prices coming into them from suppliers. So, you know, I think that's what's on the minds of our customers. And, and I know that you, there's a lot of work going on in this body and other bodies regarding the merits of all that, but that's what we hear from Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mr. Diamond, briefly. Yeah, so the, uh, you know, the Biden tax number has taxes going from 21% to 28, which is halfway back to what we think we had uh, in 2017 before the last tax act of 35. But the tax increase is actually four times what the tax decrease was from 2017. Because you all know the right. phrase, devil the details. Well, the details here are all that matter, not the top line of 28%. I've always believed that we need, if you want to have a healthy, growing, competitive America against the rest of the world, you need a global competitive tax rate because at the margin, capital will be retained and invested overseas. The same capital you want retained and invested over here. So I think it would be detrimental to a lot of, I'm not worried about banks per se, it'll be detrimental to a lot of companies. It will push a lot of capital overseas. It'll be unfortunate. Uh, there are better ways to collect taxes that would do less than that. And it would hurt uh, the, the customers and the clients that you serve uh, every single day. And That's you right. must also remember that 55% uh, uh, of small businesses organized as a C-Corp. So real quickly, one answer fast, uh, would an increased rate allow your firms to be more or less competitive globally? Mr. Moynihan, more or less competitive? I'm sorry, an increased rate uh, could lead to less competitiveness globally. Thanks. Mr. Diamond. It will be less competitive and they'll get increasingly worse over time. Thank you. Mr. Diamond um, and Ms. Frazier, would you describe the challenges your firm faces in terms of global competition? Specifically, how does China factor into those challenges as a global competitor? I'll start uh, with Ms. Frazier's response, please. Oh, thank you very much. Um, the, um, chi you know, China is playing an increasing role in the global financial system. Um, and uh, I think it's very important that for serving American multinationals abroad and indeed the U.S. government uh, and other entities that um, that the important flows of foreign exchange, trade, cash management, um, and indeed the access of global investors, the U.S. market happens on American rails um, and not on um, and other countries. I think it's a strate of strategic importance um, for our multinational companies and, and those working abroad. Um, Mr. Solomon and Mr. Gorman, discussions around a financial tax transaction tax have increased over the last several months. I'm concerned about the harm that this tax would do to our Main Street investors saving for college or retirement. Um, what adverse effects would this type of tax create within our financial system 
Mr. Solomon, and I have very limited time. It, it impacts investors, and it would impact investor activities, uh, Congresswoman. I, I, if I could, Madam Chairman, I'm running out of time. I would um, uh, ask for Mr. Solomon and Mr. Gorman to send me a written response if they uh, wouldn't mind to the concept of this financial tra uh, transaction tax. And I thank you, and I yield back. Thank, thank you, you very much.